to tell you the terrible story about the day I did not take care of my art kit. Paint should flow like a river. Fun fact! Cities are full of shapes. You can find circles, rectangles, diamonds, and triangles, and all sorts of crazy fun and interesting things! <laughs> Scribble to the art room. Well, I, I heard you were making a movie today. You know, I want to be a movie star. Oh, hi. Hi, Academy Stars. When you are making water, it is important to have a variety of blues. Blues and crayons, blues and markers. And you are going to color them. And... Hello! Well, hello! It's Mark the Shark! I met Sprinkle at the bakery where I picked up this wonderful plate of donuts. Hello! It's great to be here with you, Miss Wendell. And this is the inside of a hive. There's the queen. I actually found her on the first frame. Can everybody find the queen? And my favorite! Favorite one is this collection of jewel beetles from Africa and South America, which are gonna go like that. Aloha Academy Stars, and welcome to this week's Hawaii lesson. Hi Art Stars, here I am. I'm in the woods behind Academy School, and we just had an opportunity to look at all these wonderful artists that base their work on using natural elements. After a little bit of a walk in the woods and collecting my material, this is what I came up with. I've included a lot of different examples on nature sculptures and have suggested uh, some ways of going about this, from doing a color wheel, to doing a mandala, to doing a, skit, uh, a stick sculpture, but it's whatever you feel at the moment and also let nature sort of dictate the colors and the sticks and how the form or the artwork is going to evolve. So, and then I'm going to look at that leaf and I'm going to look at all the veins and I'm going to add a couple of veins. Not every vein, but just enough to make my leaf look artistically interesting. It's important to put those little touches in there. I'm always moved when I look at this portrait. It is always something to look at and to realize that he was an artist, felt very strongly and compelled to draw and paint a picture of himself. And he continued to do that throughout his career. Here's my example of a faceless portrait. Um, I just did a simple outline shape of my hair and my body. And then I did some things that represent myself on the inside and on the outside. I represented the world in which I would like to live in. Take that piece of paper and we're gonna fold it in half like so. And we're gonna think symmetrically. So if you looked at these, I was thinking of an insect. Easier just to do it the way I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting it. Doesn't wanna go there. That's okay. I can make it go there though. There. Wow. <laughs> no, you're alive. I love it. And notice that I'm making it kind of fluid. I'm not painting back and forth. I want it to be organic. I want it to look like an ocean, to be flowy and moving. So the first thing I do is I sort of draw a large circle. And then at the very bottom, I draw another circle like this. And I do it very lightly. I'm not doing it dark because I'm going to erase these lines. Hey, well, anyway, Academy Stars, I cannot 
cannot wait to see what you can do with paper bags. Okay. This is my spine, and I'm just, I tend to outline this first, and you, you can make it as wide as you want or as thin. Um, and remember, they're soft and pliable. You know, they're just like, they, they look like they're made out of balloons, really. I mean, they're just filled up with air. Next to it are the blood cells. Um, there are also white cells over here. It made them slightly larger. It's gonna warm us up. And I think it's real important as an artist to sort of warm up because we're not gonna essentially copy her words, <laughs> I guess. Um, so using the tip of your Crayola marker, you're gonna make little dash marks. So I got my helper here and holding one side of the paper and the other hand holding the other. And my thumbs are actually working as my scissors. And he has basic shapes. I mean, they are made of just a simple triangle. And we're gonna start off with the triangle on his head. Can you see that triangle? See, it's very simple, right? You know that shape. Then you might wanna sneak a little horizon line in there. That shows that there is a sky. This is the ice skating rink. And then you come to your crazy socks. I love chickens. Aloha, Academy Stars.